All right, guys, today we're checking out a brand new pair of earbuds from Soundcore. These are the A40s. Soundcore dropped, and I released a video on the Q45s two days ago. These earbuds did come out at the same time. The Space A40s, 99 bucks is the MSRP. Right now, 20% off. I'll drop all the links below. You guys can check it out. And I believe this goes until the first or second week of September. I will drop that below as well. Hit that like, drop a sub. Let's get into the video, guys. The Space a 40s. Now, right off the bat, you can see these are a little smaller than most Soundcore earbuds. So if you have had a problem with the size and the bulkiness of previous Soundcore earbuds like the Liberty 3 Pros, these are going to be a much better fit for you and they are cheaper. Now, I'm not saying they're better, but they are cheaper and they are smaller. Adaptive ANC, high-res audio, these things are feature packed. We get LDAC support. So high res audio. If you have an Android device only, of course, SBC and AAC on an iPhone, the actual earbuds here, the case, the matte finish with the glossy branding Soundcore logo on the front. This does support wireless charging and battery life on these earbuds are excellent. So 10 hours of battery and 50 with the case. And that is with ANC turned off, but eight hours of battery life with ANC on, on the Space A40s. Now, it will drain even faster if you are using LDAC, so just keep that in mind. It is going to drain and go all the way down to about six hours of battery life if you are using LDAC on an Android device. Now, the actual earbuds here, you can see the branding here. You have a glossy finish on the outside and a matte finish on the, well, the touch controls on here. And speaking of touch controls... You can go into inside of the app and customize them the way you want. Out of the box, they do come a certain way. You will want to go in and customize single tap, double tap, and press and hold. And you can, for the most part, just get everything you want out of these earbuds and be completely hands-free. Now, inside of the box, we do get USB-C, USB-A to charge this guy up, all of the typical paperwork, and a bunch of extra silicone tips. Get that good seal. Get that good fit. Now, again, ANC, transparency mode on these earbuds. The Soundcore app, again, which is fantastic. LDAC support, wireless charging. You can use one at a time. There is a gaming mode on here. These also have multi-point connection. Do you see where I'm going? These are feature-packed for 100 bucks, and right now for cheaper than 100 bucks. Now, these are also IPX4 sweat and water resistant, so not waterproof, but you can work out in them. You can you know, run in them and get them a little sweaty, but don't throw these in water. Don't take a shower. And yes, people ask me if they could take a shower in their earbuds. Don't go swimming in these. Don't submerge them in water and you should be good to go. But we're going to throw them in the air. You guys could take a look at how they fit and how they look on me. And then we'll do a mic test and get into the rest of the video. All right, guys, what do you think of these Space A40s? Again, these are much smaller than Soundcore's previous earbuds. So they are going to give you more comfort. You are going to be able to use these for longer periods of time. But what about the microphones on these earbuds? Three mics on each side, six microphones in total. And I think it does a very good job with phone calls. But let me know, drop some comments and let me know what you think of the microphones on the Space A40s. All right guys, now once you open up the app and this is available on iOS and Android devices, of course, the Space A40s, the battery percentages of both the left and the right earbud. Then we go down ambient sound. We have transparency mode, we have normal mode, and we also have noise cancellation. But what is really good about these noise cancellation, we do have different types of noise cancellation. So we have manual mode and you can adjust it from strong as you see here. And this just spins, you can use moderate and you could use weak. Now, there is a difference between the three of them. It's not that big of a difference between the three of them, but it is there and I do appreciate that. Now, if you go into adaptive mode, this will change depending on your environment. I, I just kind of leave mine on strong all the time. If I want to use ANC, I'm going to block out the world and that's what I want. I don't want it to be weak or anything like that. So that's where I am going to leave it personally. Drop some comments and let me know if you even use ANC. Now, normal mode and of course, transparency mode. Now in transparency mode, same thing, two different things. Fully transparent, which we'll talk about how good that is in a little bit, or vocal mode, which will focus more on voices. And it does work very well. And again, we'll talk about ANC and transparency mode after we are done with the app. Now, controls. This is where you're going to go in and you're going to customize your touch controls because out of the box, it's just 
probably not what you really want to do. So you're going to go in and you can see up top single tap. You can customize it. I have volume up and volume down. Double tap. You can go in previous track, next track, or you can go in and change it to whatever you want. And then touch and hold for two seconds. I have that set to scroll between ambient mode, A and C, or just completely turn it off. And it does work very well. I love the controls on here. Perfectly good for hands-free use. And speaking of hands-free use, you can use one at a time as well with these earbuds. And if you do use one at a time, you do get full control. So you're going to be able to use A and C. You're going to be able to use transparency mode with one earbud, which is, well, it's fantastic. Like Soundcore is bringing the heat with these earbuds at this price point and just giving us a ton of features. Now, Hear ID, of course, you can use Hear ID. It will customize the sound to fit you and your ears. Try that out. It does take a few minutes to set up Hear ID. Or if you don't want to bother with that, you can go in and we get Soundcore's presets and we also get the EQ. So we get custom EQ. You can see how I have mine set up, that V-shaped sound on here. You can go into the defaults and all of Soundcore's really, really good presets are in here. You got a bass boost, all of the same things we talk about basically in every video, they are still here. And I love that we get it on pairs of earbuds like the Liberty 3 Pros that cost 170 bucks, and we get it on a pair of earbuds that cost $99 as well. And headphones, it's also on the headphones. So really good. Now, if you click on the settings tab up top, it does take you into, you can change the tone, wind noise reduction. If you're outside and you want to reduce some of that wind noise, you can do that. Now, this is where you would go in and turn on your gaming mode. And since we are here, let's talk about the gaming mode on here. If you're playing games, which I do not play a lot of games on my phone, but if you do, the gaming mode on here is good. You know, normal games, even games like Call of Duty, you should be good to go. It's not going to affect you really in any way. Heavier gaming, you might notice a little delay between audio and video, but overall, it does a very good job at the you know regular games you're going to download and play on your phone. You can do that all day long. Now, we also have a fit test. You can go in and make sure you get that good seal. We talk about this all the time in videos. A good seal is very important for things, well, like music and sound quality, right? If you want a good seal, if you want to get the most out of your earbuds when it comes to the amount of bass you hear or feel, you're going to want a good seal. If you want to get the most out of really good A and C, or transparency mode, you want to get a good seal. So make sure you do the sound test and get that good fit. Very important, guys. Now let's talk about the transparency mode and the ANC. Again, different levels and different modes for both ANC and transparency mode. And right now, I'm as we speak, I'm using transparency mode while shooting this video. Transparency mode on here is really good. If we go in and we look at it again inside of the app, you do have vocal mode and Fully transparent. Fully transparent will bring in a lot more outside noise. There is a little bit of white noise when you do use this, but it does a very good job. My voice sounds very natural when I'm speaking. Overall, I really like what they did with the transparency mode on here and vocal mode. Vocal mode will kind of cut out that white noise. That's basically what it does. That white noise kind of disappears, and you're going to be able to focus more on voices and things like that where fully transparent will allow everything in and both i think work very well now the noise cancellation on here again different modes manual mode you can change it from strong to medium and then to weak and adaptive anc on here the the anc on these earbuds is fantastic at the hundred dollar price point this isn't going to compete with the Liberty 3 Pros. It's not going to compete with any earbuds like the Evos in that price range, and it's not meant to. But at $100, it will be very hard to beat these earbuds when it comes to A and C and, and transparency mode, in my opinion. Really good what they did here on these earbuds. All right, guys, sound quality and the volume on these earbuds. Volume-wise, I think they're fine. I think these are loud enough for anybody. You shouldn't be listening to your earbuds as loud as I used to it's a bad idea. And I have changed my ways, and now I do listen to these at a much safer level, and I can honestly say I enjoy it even more because I know I'm okay listening to it. And volume-wise, you're not going to have an issue with these. They're fine. I listen to these right around 80%, and I'm good to go. And it doesn't matter what music I am listening to. They are perfectly fine. Now, the sound quality on these earbuds. Guys, these are fun. These are a fun pair of earbuds. These are perfect for the gym. They give you that thump. They give you that rumble. They are a dynamic sounding 
pair of earbuds. If you like bass, you're going to like these. But the good thing is we have an EQ. We have LDAC on Android. We have presets from Soundcore. So you can tune and make these sound pretty much any way you want. If you like a little more treble, you're going to be able to bring that out. If you like the mids to be raised a little bit, you're going to be able to bring that out. If you want to tone down some of the bass, you can do that too. You can customize these just the way you like it. And that's why I love an EQ inside of an app, something that we have been getting from Soundcore for a very long time. Now, there is a bit of EQ shift, but it is very slight. When you go from ANC to transparency mode, it, think about that for a minute. You're going from ANC to transparency mode. And what I'm experiencing is when, I, when I'm listening to music and I go from ANC into transparency mode, the sound quality in transparency mode is still very good. But what happens is because you're in transparency mode, that outside noise opens everything up. So it is a very open sound compared to the closed sound of the audio. And it makes sense, right? That's what, it, that's what I think it would do. But it's a very small shift, and it doesn't affect me in any way. But you guys should know that it is there. I can listen to these and be happy in either mode, and I'm okay with it. Now, now if I had to pick anything apart with these earbuds, it's honestly not much. Um, In-ear detection is something that I personally enjoy. I use in-ear detection quite a bit, and that is something that is missing. But I'm okay because of the price point of these earbuds and what we are getting instead of in-ear detection. So I'm okay with them leaving something. They had to leave something out at this price point, right? They couldn't throw everything at it because, well, then they would charge a lot more money for it. But we get a ton here for a really good price. They're smaller, more compact earbuds. They're going to be able to fit more and more people. They're going to be more comfortable for you. They sound great. The ANC is great. The transparency mode is great. Gaming mode, LDAC support, feature packed, great, great battery life, guys. Eight hours or 10 hours, eight hours with ANC on right now in 2022 is fantastic. And of course, it will drain depending on how loud you are listening to music to. And of course, if you are using LDAC. But that's it, guys. The Space A40s. What do you guys think? Let me know. Drop some comments. Hit that like button. Drop a sub. I'll be back soon. I got a ton of more videos coming, guys. I'm really behind on stuff. Been dealing with stuff, but we're back. So I'm going to start dropping a lot of videos. I'll be back soon. Peace.